This is episode 3 of Paddle Showdown, a series on this channel where we compare two paddles at different price points to see if the higher price of the expensive paddle leads to better performance or if the cheaper paddle is a better overall value. For this episode, we'll be doing something different and taking a look at two paddles that actually have different dimensions but similar characteristics. Our pricier option is the brand new Selkirk Lux Control Air, which retails for $249. And going against it is the Spartus Ballista, which retails for $159. I've received questions asking how I felt about both of them, since they're both edgeless control paddles, so even though their overall dimensions are different, I did want to make a video to compare the two. Starting off, both paddles have different shapes. The Lux has that rectangular elongated shape, with a length of 16.45 inches, a width of 7.5 inches, and a handle length of 5.35 inches. Meanwhile, the Ballista has a hybrid shape with a curved top, so 16.4 inches in length, 7.5 inches in width, and a 5.5 inch handle. Both are edgeless paddles, so their construction is a bit different from the cold pressed and thermoform paddles that are popular on the market. As far as I know, they both do have edge foam or some form of perimeter weighting to compensate for the lack of edge guard, but neither company has really disclosed how specifically their paddles are made so I'm unsure if their construction process is similar. But anyways, let's go into how these paddles play. Let's start with maneuverability, or how quick the paddles are to swing. As mentioned earlier, both paddles are edgeless and also have a hole at the throat to make them more aerodynamic, so they are both on the quicker side. The Ballista is close to 16mm for its core and is noticeably quicker than other 16mm paddles that do have edge guards and don't have the throat hole. For example, the Valer Mach 1 Force at 16mm has a swing weight of 117 compared to the 110 of the Ballista. Similarly, for the Lux, it has a swing weight of 116, which is much quicker than any other 20mm paddle on the market that does have an edge guard. But since the Ballista is the thinner paddle compared to the Lux, it is also the more maneuverable paddle of the two. Now let's move on to power, or how much force one can generate on the ball with a full swing of the paddle. While the Ballista is lighter and quicker, the Lux is a bit heavier and also gives you more power on drives and serves. Though both paddles lean more towards the control side of the spectrum, they aren't as powerful as the Gen 2 Thermoform paddles and are more similar to the Gen 1 paddles, but between the two paddles, the Lux is more powerful. Similarly, for the face stiffness and the pop, or how quickly the ball shoots off the paddle face, both the Ballista and Lux are also on the lower end and more comparable to Gen 1 cold press paddles than they are to the stiffer thermoformed ones. The thick core of the Lux gives it a more substantial feel where it absorbs the power off the battle face more during contact. So between the two, it's the Ballista that has a stiffer feel and more pop off the paddle face. For spin generation, both paddles are on the high end. The Ballista has a Tori T700 carbon fiber surface, but it's not the raw carbon fiber with a peel ply texture on top that most people are accustomed to. Instead, it uses a granule paint grit that covers the surface. Paint grit has been notorious for wearing off quickly on paddles like it did on the Franklin Signature and the Diadem Warrior, but the owner of Spartus has claimed that the specific paint grit they are using has more longevity than raw carbon fiber paddles. I haven't had the Ballista long enough to be able to confirm this, but the grit definitely has been staying on longer than the grit on a Franklin Signature. The Lux on the other hand uses something called Fluoric Carbon Fiber, and the durability and RPM generation seem similar compared to the Ballista. While the spin on both is high, I do think that when compared side by side to raw carbon fiber paddles, I can generate a tad bit more spin on the raw carbon fiber ones. Lastly, let's take a look at the stability and sweet spot. For the stability, the heavier Lux paddle is more stable in the hands when compared to the Ballista. Because the Ballista is very light, I do recommend adding lead tape on the sides to bump up the twist weight numbers. It's already very maneuverable to begin with, so we can afford to have that lead tape added. For the sweet spot, edgeless paddles generally have smaller sweet spots when compared to paddles with edge guards because there is less perimeter weighting. Now what's surprising is that the thicker 20mm core of the Lux has a worse sweet spot than the Ballista. 
I believe this is due to the ballista using a polypropylene honeycomb core with more compact cells that are 6 mm in diameter compared to the 8 mm diameter cells most other paddles use. I see the Luxus sweet spot as a bit below average, but for the ballista, it's got a really solid sweet spot that is better than any edgeless paddle I've used. While the Ballista and Lux are both edgeless control paddles, they both aim for different goals. The Ballista is a fast, maneuverable paddle that's quicker than other paddles at its core thickness and provides great control and decent pop. Meanwhile, the Lux basically lets you use a 20mm paddle at a manageable swing weight. It has a nicer, more solid feel than the Ballista, but is also a bit heavier and less forgiving. While both paddles are different from each other, the paddle I would recommend for most people is the Ballista. Dollar for dollar, it is the better value, plus its lower swing weight and more forgiving sweet spot for an edgeless paddle will appeal to more players. That said, the Lux is still a great paddle with a unique feel to it from its 20mm core, but it's just a bit too pricey. At the time of this video, there are Black Friday deals ongoing, and with a discount code, you'll be able to purchase the Ballista for under $130, so I highly recommend considering picking one up this weekend. I've linked discount codes for both Selkirk and Spartus in the video description below if you are considering either paddle. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I can also set up something at uh, oh, it's gonna come through. 